Title, Smart Water. Precision Irrigation. An ant runs over an irrigation pipe. Aerial of a vineyard. So my name's Andrew Peace from Andrew Peace Wines. We're a family operated wine company. We've been living in this property for about 35 years. So our farm's situated 41 kilometres from Swan Hill on the banks of the Murray River. It's a very diverse range of trees and fruits and vegetables grown here. We grow everything from stone fruit to avocados. We grow apples, almonds. In the last couple of years we've sort of tooled up and we're growing different crops as well. So we grow winter crops which is wheat, barley and canola. Our main crop is grapes, wine grapes. One tonne of grapes gives you about 750 litres of clean wine. It's ready to go into a bottle. Also, we would generally make and export about 2 million cases. As a family, we feed about 50,000 people, which is a pretty good number. We're pretty proud of that. A lot of people don't realise that to make one litre of wine, it generally takes between two and four litres of water. And it can take upwards of 200 litres of water to grow a, a one kilogram of beef. We get a lot of our rain during the winter periods and the rain we do get, which is very precious, is only, I would say generally is about 300 millimetres, so 12 inches. If you're just talking about efficiencies of pumping water for irrigated crops, it was sort of an unwritten rule that about five kilometres from the river is, is usually efficient. You need to work out how you're going to get your water. We're actually on the Murray River, so we're a private diverter, as opposed to a, someone who gets water pumped to them from a pipeline. Being a private diverter, then that means we own all our own diversion pumps and all our pipes. Uh, we've had to install them over the years. So you need, you need to have a licence for you you can use annually. It's called AUL on your property. And you get, an, you get a licence from the government or you're allowed to use a certain amount of water from, on, on the land. And then you obviously, or after, once you've got that, then you need to actually purchase the water that you would divert through your pump. We have 4,000 acres, 1,600 hectares, and all our land is licensed to, to irrigate. So the watering system we currently use is called Wiser. We've probably halved the water use that we used to with flood irrigation, and we're probably getting about an extra 20% increase in, in the water that we do put on the effectiveness of it as well. Working with Wiser, we've actually done, we could actually program it from our computer, start it from our computer, monitor it from our computer. By having a good fully automated irrigation system, you're, you're using your time efficiently. You're not chained to the pump or in your vehicle continuously going around. It gives you time to do your other day-to-day -day duties. We provide irrigation automation and monitoring solutions like those we've provided to Andrew Peace Wines. Well, the company itself was brought about to give farmers the edge over the rest of the world in being able to apply water to their crops in saving time, which is very important for them to do other jobs, and to uh, save water. Basically comprises uh, three main components, if you like. Uh, software, which runs on a PC and controls the system. Uh, hardware out in the field, which is radio linked back to that PC. And the firmware on that hardware out in the field, which allows us to connect all sorts of uh, different hardware to those actual units. This is all done either in your office, on your phone, um, you could be in Swan Hill doing the shopping. So we've got soil moisture monitoring, talks to the computer, we've got centre pivots, we've got drip tape, subsurface drip tape which is in the ground and then we've got drip tape for our vines so all those formats are controlled by our system so it, 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 it makes the impossible possible. This automation makes life a lot easier you still have to check it um, it's not foolproof but it just takes a lot of the guesswork out. Certainly on a property like this the size of this one here um, one person running around doing the water manually would be actually I don't think it would even be possible so in essence, the, the labour savings we gain from, from automation here are probably a good couple of labour units, if not more. Yeah, with the infrastructure we have and being so close to the river, if we didn't have water, we wouldn't have this winery, these grape vines. Water is gold to us, and without that, we've got nothing. 